Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Play on GAA and this is just going to be the review of the Mayo vs Tyrone game which ultimately Tyrone come out 2 points winners 11-9, low scoring contest, pretty really really dare kind of occasion and it's just a, a, a poor poor game I suppose but look, big 2 points for Tyrone and uh, yeah puts a bit of pressure on teams like Monaghan Dublin as well and Kildare kind of they're battling for, for survival so that's a big result for Tyrone that they need to grind out Mayo didn't look really interested in kind of results at all, to be honest. But, like, yeah, for them as well, they'll have the chance to, to go and play uh, Kilnera next week. And as well, they know that it's in their own hands. So look, if they win, they'll go into a league final. So, uh, yeah, look, it's probably a game. Not a whole lot to take from it, really. Conditions were poor. That the wind really kind of affected it as well. Thrown in the first half. They looked sharp enough for the first 20 minutes, I suppose, that they uh, probably their players come from deep. Connor Myler... Uh, Peter Hart and stuff seemed to kind of Frank Burns too actually as well kind of drove them on a little bit in the first half then went very negative I suppose from there and went in about 5 points up at half time and then looking the second half uh, Mayo used the ball terribly and uh, they didn't utilise the, the breeze whatsoever so it was a lot of aimless kicking in there they I think they kicked about maybe one score from play in the second half and they went 25 minutes with the win without scoring so um, yeah really really disappointing for Mayo and look, they tried a few things. Aiden O'Shea's centre back didn't really look a whole lot different to what it's been recently. He continuously slowed down the play as well. And I just don't think he fully fits into this Mayo team at the moment with what they're trying to do. So, uh, yeah, look, they missed the likes of Owen McLaughlin and Paddy Dirk and that speed coming from deep. And it was too ponderous, too slow. No real ideas. Aimless kicking into the forward line. And, uh, yeah, look, Ryan O'Donoghue showed a little bit and won a bit of ball, lost a bit of ball too, but he kicked he kicked a, a nice score in the second half, but that was about it for Mayo. And, uh, yeah, so I suppose, look, Tyrone kind of uh, did enough in the second half, kicked about four points in the second half. Derek Hanneman showed flashes. He showed a bit of kind of, a bit of kind of genius, I suppose, at times, and a bit of individuality, a bit of quality, kind of. But uh, other than that, it was just kind of workmanlike for Tyrone. Best players in the pitch, I think. Peter Hart, I've already mentioned. Connor Myler carried an awful lot of ball, which like he did, he did well. He kind of carried linked to play quite well, I thought. Uh, yeah, Mandy Donnelly in the second half got on a lot of ball. Con Kilpatrick, I thought, showed well and showed a bit of drive. But uh, other than that, like I don't think. Throne will be too delighted with their performance either. I think up front they were kind of lacking a fair bit. But look, they showed a lot of fight and a lot of heart and they grounded out well. But look, there was very, very little quality in the game. And uh, yeah, it's it was it's probably the poorest game I think I've seen the league so far. And uh, yeah, it's it just wasn't really a great advertisement for the game whatsoever. So um, yeah, look, I suppose just take, we just got to take kind of the... the the, the points that came from it and uh, I suppose for um, for Tyrone they'll be delighted with that and that puts them in a great chance of staying up and that's the the big takeaway I suppose from it and look I think from a neutral perspective from a fan's perspective just hope that the standard improves and that this kind of passage of uh, sideways passing and slow build up and everything as well that this starts to go out of the game as the season progresses and when we get the championship that we get to see a bit more action there wasn't even a, a hint of a goal, I don't think, in that entire game. It was just incredibly dull, low quality, and yeah, just one of the poorest games I think I've seen in a long time. So I think just from from a fan perspective, just let, let's hope that it improves and that with the better conditions and better surfaces that uh, that we see a better better entertainment than what we saw today. So anyway, that's the review of the Tyrone versus Mayo game, and keep an eye out for the rest of the reviews this weekend.